hello, we have 5 to the power of 7 minus 6. And we are going to evaluate this with our calculator. So I can simply have 5 to the power of 7. Then this I can have minus 6. I can write it as summation of 5 plus 1. Now from here, I can also express this 7 as summation of 6 plus 1. I have 5 power 6 plus 1. Then I can expand using this minus. So this will be minus 5 and also minus 1 because this minus multiplies this and multiplies this. So remember, if you have a power n plus n, equals a power n times a power n. That means I'm going to have 5 power 6 times 5 power 1 minus 5 minus 1. And from here, 5 power 1 is the same thing as 5. So I can factor of this. And this is because it appears in two places. So we we'll have 5 times this is 5 power 6. If you divide this by 5, then you have minus 5 divided by 5, I have 1. And there is minus 1 also. From here, I can have 5 times this 5 power 6, I can express it as 5 power 3 times 3 is 6, minus 1, minus 1. Don't also forget, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n or power m. So we are going to have 5 times this will be 5 power 3 to the power of 2 minus 1 minus 1. I can decide to raise this to the power of 2 because 1 power 2 is the same thing as 1. Now at this point, I can make use of difference of 2 squares power 2 power 2 minus. If you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a minus b times a plus b. a equals 5 power 3, b equals 1. So at this point, we are simply going to have a minus b. There's 5 here times a minus b will be 5 power 3 minus 1 times 5 power 3 plus 1 minus 1. And from here, remember 5 power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. That's 125. Uh, 5 times 125 minus 1 times 125 plus 1 minus 1. From here, I have 5 times 125 minus 1, 124 times 125 plus 1, 126 minus 1. So from here, I have 5 times 124 is 100, plus 24 times 126 is 100 plus 26 minus 1. Now, if you have a plus b times a plus c, this equals a squared plus a times b plus c plus b times c. This is my a, my b, my a. My C. 
So we we'll have five times a squared. One hundred power two plus one hundred times b plus c. Twenty four plus twenty six plus b times c. Twenty four times twenty six minus one. From here, I have 5 times 100, but that is 100 times 100. That will give you 10,000. Plus, I have 100 times 24 plus 26. You are going to have 50 plus 24 times 26. That will give you 6 to Four, you can easily do it. Twenty-four times twenty-six, six times four, that is twenty-four. Four carry over two, six times two, twelve plus two, fourteen. Two times four, eight. Two times two, four. This is four, twelve to carry over one. Out here, that is six to four. Right. Then we have minus 1. So from here, you have 5 times 10,000 plus 50 times 100. This is 5,000. Then you have plus 6 to 4. So from here, I have 5 times 10,000 plus 5,000, 15,000. 15,000 plus 624, that is 15,624. So we are going to multiply this out. We have 1, 5, 6, 2, 4 times 5. 5 times 4, that is 20, 0 car over 2. 5 times 2, 10 plus 2, 12, 2 caravan 1. 5 times 6, 30, 30 plus 1, 31, 1 caravan 3. Then you have 5 times 5, 25 plus 3, 28, 8 caravan 2. 5 times 1, 5. Plus 2, you have 7. And don't forget we have minus 1 here. Remember, there's minus 1 here. Don't forget that. And we also have minus 1 here. And finally, we have minus 1. So 7, 8, 1, 20, minus 1 will give you 7, 8, 1, 19. So this becomes the final answer for 5 power 7 minus 6 is equals 7, 8, 1, 1, 9. That is 78,119. So this is how you can actually solve this or evaluate this without the use of a calculator step by step. And I believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Do a comment. Now, from what you have seen so far, the first step, express this as summation of 6 and 1. Express this as summation of 5 and 1. Use negatives to expand. Then, apply this identity to also have 5 or 6 times 5. Factor at the 5. Now you have 5 or 6 minus 1. Express 6 in terms of 3 times 2. Then, express this as 5 power 3 or power 2, so that it can be used of difference of two squares. Your a is 5 power 3, b is 1, then you have a minus b times a plus b. This will lead you here, in which you have 5 power 3 is 1 to 5, minus 1, 1 to 5 plus 1. So if you can multiply 1 to 4 times 1 to 6, if you subtract 1 and add 1, then you multiply that by 5, subtract 1, you got the answer. But if you don't know, you need to actually express 1 to 4 as summation of 124. 
One to six are summation of 126. Then you multiply them out. You can multiply using 100 times 100, 100 times 26, 24 times 100, 24 times 26. That is exactly the same thing I did here. But this is just the identity. So from there, after this, you are going to have 15, 6 to 4. Multiply that by 5, then subtract 1. And this will give you 78,119. So guys, this is it. Goodbye.